What's up wonderful people? Thank you very much for clicking this video. We are all about love, peace, forgiveness and unity. It's a compilation of all types of videos. Good vibes, funny, woke, creepy, name it all. Watch till the end to have a good time and help spread this message of love. Straight out of Africa with good vibes. Lots of good vibes, man. Tell us where you're watching from and let's dive in. You are a wonderful soul, man. Good vibes. Ha! Huh. Maybe this is why it's hard to fight giants in the world. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Giants in the world. Oh, this is somehow really creepy. You mean some guys somewhere fought some giants? What is that thing? That thing looks like a manly figure. What's that? Oh my god. This is really scary. But this somehow looks kind of big, man. Extremely big. Ha! Ah, what type of the thing is that? Definitely that's not a human because of how big it is. But what? Ah, this is really creepy. Oh, my face. Do you think this is real or it's just some edited footage? Ay, ay, ay. Make sure you know about it, man. This is creepy. Peculiar and ho. Oh, how comes they only live in the ice? Huh. Oh my god, that's scary. What do they eat back there? Ay, ay, ay. Makes me really wonder more and more. Anyway. Much love to you guys for clicking in. What if I told you that the biblical... Hey, good, so you are getting the hang of it. So if that's river, <laughs> then this right here would be... Diver? <laughs> no, diver. You don't... Oh, okay. okay. Here, let me give you one more, okay? Okay. All right, so first word is thread. Thread, yeah. Which means this word right here would be... Red. Well, it depends. So if we have more than one turtle, all we're gonna do is add an S, and now we have... Turtles? That's right, very good. Now if we have more than one goose, it would be... It'd be gooses? No, it's geese. You don't see how... It, it's because it's more than one goose. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Here, let me, let me give you one more try here. Uh, let's do this right here really quick. Let's do... This right here, what word is that? Moose? Moose, yes, very good. So more than one moose would be... Meese? No. I mean, mooses? Nope. Mooses? It'd be moose. You don't see how... If we have one moose, it would be moose. But if we have multiple moose, it would be moose. Okay. So this word is... Our? Which means this word is... Sour, which means this word is tower, tour. You don't see how it's because it's like not the same. Like that's why. Okay. Yep. Here, how about this one? If we take this R and we make it a P, what's this word now? It'd be salp, as in chicken noodle salp. No, it's soup. You don't see how it's because the P makes the O U oop. That's why. But now that you know that, let's say this P is an L. Now what's this word? Soul. No, it's soul. You don't see. Okay. Clearly, I'm not doing my job well enough. So this word is rock. Very good. Now come up and spell the word knock. Spell the word knock. N O C K knock. No. There's a K. You don't see how. Just because you can't hear the K, doesn't mean it's not there. Oh. Spell it with a K, but when you say it, pretend it's not there. Spell it, say it. Spell it, say it. See what I mean? Oh. Okay. So now that you know that, what's this word right here? Um, pretend it's not there. So it'd be now? No. Can you tell me what it is then? No. Here, last one here. Come up and spell the word not. K N O T, not. Spell the K, say it like it's not there. Not. It's not the not I was talking about. So, which prey is correct? Well, it depends. Because? Because they're like not the same. 
I think you're starting to see how. Which means these two words aren't spelled the same because... Because they're like not the same? No. You don't see how. Just because they're not spelled the same doesn't mean they're not the same. But when two words sound the same and are spelled the same, that means they're the same. Well, it depends. I mean, this right could mean like the opposite of left, and this right could mean like correct. Or uh, it could be right as in if you don't understand, you have the right to ask questions. So, so what sound does this make? The ch sound. Which means this word is chew. Which means this word is ch chef. No, it's chef. You don't see how it's because it's French. Oh. That's why. Oh, okay. But when it's not French, what sound does this make? The ch sound. Which means this word is... It'd be chemistry. Chemistry. You don't see how. Just because the H is there doesn't mean it wants to be part of the word. Mm-hmm. But when the H wants to be part of the word... It'd be chat. Which means this word is... Champagne. No. What did I say about French words? It's French. So someone who teaches is a... Teacher. Which means someone who learns is a... Learner. Which means someone who journals is a... It'd be journaler. No. Journalist. You don't see how... It's because it's like someone who journals. That's why. Which means someone who volunteers is a... It'd be volunteerist. No. Volunteer her. No. Volunteer. You don't see how... It's because it's someone who volunteers. You don't... You don't see how... So this word is... See? Which means this word is... Seat? Which means this word is... Same? No, it's Sean. Why would you think? It's because it's a name. You don't, you don't see how. Okay. The word seen would be spelled like this. Which means this word is... It'd be teen. Which means this word is... Bean. No, it's been. Like, where have you been? Like, it's because it's like a verb, so it's not the same. It's like different. Okay? That's why. You don't you don't see how. So if this word is tomb, then this word would be it would be boom? No, it's bomb. You don't see how? It's because the B and the T have different views on how like the word should be. Okay. Which means this word is it'd be calm. No. So it would be coom. No, it's comb. You don't see how it's because like here, how about this one? So this word is limb. Good, yes. I think you're starting to see how. And when we add a C, it's it'd be clim. No, it's climb. You don't see how. It's because it's like different. Like the C like took over the word, so like now like the word runs different. Like that's why. There's not much well-being going on on your television it's mostly stuff that if you watch it it will cause you to forget the well-being that is abundant and yet you have this planet spinning in its orbit that is completely observable impossible to forget and a sun that comes round every day to warm your planet every single day and yet you can get so immersed in crap sometimes words just sum things up succinctly there's just so much that you can focus upon that causes you not to remember you see so i think this is a really good conversation what is it that you want to remember i want to remember that i live in a vibrational universe and i want to remember that i'm vibrational i want to remember that i'm worthy got him got a turtle frog oh my god look there he is i cannot believe we found the frog! Oh my god! <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like that in your life?
let's just appreciate this super unique creature. What you're looking at is some of the first HD footage ever recorded of a turtle frog. I mean, this species is so rare, there's very little information to find about them. This is one of the most unique looking frogs you will ever see. It looks like something out of Star Wars, Jabba the Hutt's relative. Some people say it looks like a, a little wad of chewing gum. What do you think it looks like? This one was uh, usually very funny and interesting, you see? You can have the mic there was interested in some fruits, huh? And then decided to go take some fruit vibes, man. Hmm. Which animal is this? This looks like a squirrel that is just having fun. Hmm. Full of good vibes and full of life. Yo, this is interesting, man, you see? This uh, squirrel is just having fun on its own, you see? Not disturbing anyone. Good vibes. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hi. 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 Das ist ja wie das, das muss hier bleiben, Leo. Nein, nein. Nein, hier ist Kaffee. Was? Hier ist Kaffee. Nein, du trinkst keinen, du darfst keinen Kaffee trinken. Hier ist Kaffee, doch, doch, doch. Hier ist Kaffee. Nein, du trinkst keinen Kaffee. Things the black church is gonna get mad at me for saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Man, y'all check this out. If you, and I, I want you all to say this: if this is your light bill and you can't pay your light bill, keep your money. I don't want your money. We don't want you. That's not integrity. You just didn't save. You have a whole year to save. But if that's your light bill and you want to sow because you want to be, you don't want to be feel left out because everybody else giving. I don't want your money. Keep your money. Be good stewards. And no time, I'm sowing this by faith and I believe God's going to pay my bills. No, he gave you the money. Go pay your bills. Have integrity. All right, you didn't. You waited till the last I'll tell you minute. something, one of the most important voices in the world, and you're going to see, is your pastor's voice. Things are going to happen and people are going, any, any social figure you see is going to be crooked people. And you don't pick a pastor because he can preach. You pick a pastor because he has integrity and he loves you. You got a bonus. Y'all ain't saying in this place. But nevertheless, we're thankful today. I just want to know that because I don't I know it's a bad spirit in Charlotte because y'all, you had all these scams and you had all that. But we're not scam artists here. Whatever we say we're going to buy, we're going to buy. Whatever we say we're going to do, we're a joyful occasion. I don't want money to make you feel like I ain't going home, staying at home, I don't stay at home, feel oppressed. It is what it is. I don't care what y'all say, Jesus lived and he rose. But some people are struggling. So when you're in struggle, you got to manage well. And don't try to keep up with the Jones. Just live within your means. Y'all ain't saying nothing to this place. Live. Don't try to get no stuff. You need to be slapped if you got a $400 hairdo. Now, here's the deal. Many pastors wouldn't say what this bishop just said. They wouldn't do what this bishop just did. He was stopping people from giving if it was your bill money that you were trying to give to him. Now, obviously, listen, uh, looks like, uh, according to the inscription, that this was Shepherd's Day. Um, maybe this is one day out of the year, um, like Pastor's Appreciation Day, where people could plan to give to the, to the lives of their pastor. He said, you had a whole year. 
You had a whole year. But if you didn't plan well, don't take the bill money that you were supposed to spend for yourself on your bills and give to us. No, we good. Most pastors wouldn't stop you and do that. They'll just let you go on and give and they don't care about your personal life. You can be in debt. You can have a, a, a credit score as low as the ants. Who cares? As long as their pockets are being filled. You're the one that got up there and was going to put it into the basket. But here's a man and woman of God that say, wait a minute. No, if you're giving to us and you're supposed to take that money and give to T-Mobile, then you better go pay T-Mobile. We good. It comes down to one, as he said, integrity, but then stewardship. There's a stewardship. They had a whole year to plan. And see, this is something that we need to talk more about in the body of Christ. What? Stewardship. Being a good steward over the finances that God has given you. We all want to hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things and I'll make you ruler over many things. Enter now into the joy of the Lord. We all want to hear that. Uh, that was about stewardship. How did you handle another man's money? Yeah. We can't even handle our own money, let alone handle somebody else's. Why do we have low credit scores amongst the black community and it's celebrated? You find a man with a, with a high credit score, ooh, he's an anomaly. But amongst the body of Christ, that should be the standard. But we don't have high credit scores because, well, we don't think paying bills and paying them on time is a good thing to do. God will never make you rule over many if you're not faithful over the few. So, Praise God for this bishop and his wife. We, uh, it looks like they were celebrating eight years. We congratulate them. Uh, you guys are, are, are you know, under a, an awesome man who would do that, stand up and stop you and say, no, how dare you have a $400 hairstyle and you still got bills due? I'm going to say this. How dare you got a $100 haircut and you still got bills due? Get your priorities right, man. Stewardship 101. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Listen, if this video has been a blessing to you, hit the follow button, hit the share button. My name is Damon Redding. Do good. Be good. Why? Well, because God made you good. Until the next video. Peace out. Oh, see, that's a wonderful man of God, man. It's behind you. You hear the garage? Who's home? Dada. 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 Go get him. Go get him. Who is it? Dada. Dada. Briggs just announced a three-year plan to reduce its reliance on the U.S. dollar. In the recent article by Watcher Guru, BRICS New Development Bank plans to lend loans to other developing countries and local currencies. This is going to put pressure on the United States dollar as they are not going to be lending loans in USD or settlement in United States dollar. With the aims to promote local currencies and strengthen the BRICS economy, businesses in developing countries could actually benefit from reduced forex charges by using local currencies. This could have a potential global financial shift from the west to the east by year 2026. BRICS already controls 30% of the global economy, and this could increase without the reliance on the US dollar. And with countries such as Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Argentina, Ethiopia, and the UAE looking to join the BRICS nation by January 1st, 2024. Concerns about the U.S. economy is facing challenges if the U.S. dollar loses its status. And if that does happen, we should expect a possibility of commodity price increase and an economic imbalance in the future. 
With all that being said, BRICS could potentially possibly reshape the whole entire international financial landscape by 2026, where local currencies may dominate the financial sector, one potentially being the new global reserve currency. And if you want to keep updated with everything going on with BRICS and the global financial sector, make sure you hit that like and follow button. Y'all have a good one. Peace. There is so much information coming out. I almost missed this. Listen. The digital euro is on the move. Yesterday, the governing council of the ECB approved the opening of the preparation phase. It will be a journey and we will walk the journey together with the legislator. All European institutions will be involved to make sure that Europe is equipped with the currency of the future. Cash is here to stay. You will have all options, cash and digital cash. So what does it mean for you? For consumers, it would be free and easy to use everywhere in the Euro area. All of that, of course, is subject to the legislative process. Cash or digital, the choice will be yours. Your Euro, your choice. The war on the money system just started. This is the Monday Night Wars right here, yo. Oh my goodness. Fiat versus digital currency. The legacy system versus this new system. And if you don't know who Christina Lagarde is, she was the former managing director of the International Monetary Fund. But now, the president of the European Central Bank. But she basically just sat there and said, we're about to flip this switch on. Now, they didn't give a date on when, but from the research, it looked like November time frame. And what if the rumors are true that they're looking to possibly build the digital euro on the XRP ledger? Y'all have a good one. Peace. Our DNA is made up of what? Five elements, right? Hydrogen carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and oxygen. You know how they're arranged? The phosphorus sits right here in the middle and you've got four oxygen atoms surrounding it. Then there's another phosphorus, two more oxygen atoms. Now these are the legs of that double helix. These are the legs. Now the ladder steps on it. They become the adenine, the guanine, the cytosine, and thymine, the ATCGs. It turns out hydrogen, they used to think that energy, the, the body transferred or understood the energy information through electricity. They're finding out it's through frequency. Well, guess what hydrogen sounds like? It's a key of E and it's a color yellow. That's what proper physics gets you to. Oxygen is a chartreuse and it's the key of F over F sharp. Now they used to, like I said, Information used to be thought about as just electrical information passing on. But I've got a question for you. Have you ever been at a party with some of your friends you ain't seen in 10 years, but y'all was like 14, you hung out and there's a song that came on and you're like, ah, and everybody got up and was live at that moment. Now say 10 years later, you got a friend with you. He's a good guy, but he wasn't there when me and my boys formed this. So when that song comes on, our DNA tightens, tightens, tightens. There's a particular song, a scale in the genome for each and every one of us. Now, when that song is played, when your particular prime resonant frequency is played, guess what happens? Your DNA celebrates and tightens. Everything else gets pushed out. Harmonic wave resequencing. The carbon is also the key of E and yellow. The nitrogen is G. And all these play a song. So say that the F over F sharps of the oxygen, the green, is only hitting at an, an F. Why? Because there's another frequency coming in from a generator over there. That's changing and causing it to change. The F hits the carbon. So the, 
instead of hitting as an F sharp, it hits as an F, so when it hits the carbon at an E, it doesn't hit it quite right, so the domino don't file right. So the next domino hits wrong. And so now we have a uh, malformation happening within our DNA because the frequencies are being pushed off. But when we hear our tone, we tighten back up. So yeah, I'm in the process of building the harmonic wave resequencer with another doctor who has been able to successfully cure AIDS and cancer. And it's well underway. Ah, oh my God, that's interesting. Yo, you see now the cure for AIDS and cancer could be a good deal for everybody, man. You see, those are diseases that really humiliate people from all over the world, man. And if you found a cure, it would be so nice. Oh, great vibes. What is this now? This looks like he said those pyramids or what the heck is this? Oh my God, huh? This is crazy, man. This looks like some building from the past. Ah, oh my God! Ah, look at these drawings. These drawings of the wall. Ah, this is definitely some drawings by people from the past. Ah, it could be more than people. At least you could see some books there or some computers. Who knows what is used to store data in these modern days? But now people from the past used to grow stars. Electricity. Huh. But where does it get the power from? Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, I am of course Rachel, the neuroscientist. Brain cells are always charged, let's say, and they keep that charge through something called a sodium potassium pump. Basically, there's this flow of positively charged sodium and potassium going in and out of the brain cell at all times, and that keeps it charged. You obviously, we need a source of power to keep that process going, and we use something called adenosine triphosphate. Essentially, what the brain does is it will take up oxygen and glucose and then build this fuel source of ATP to keep that pump running. Ah, oh my god, you see those are things I have never heard about, but anyway. That one of you may looks like a doctor and they know what they are saying. Hey, leave a comment today if you agree with that or disagree. Good vibes, man. Ah, and some wonderful human here is showing us hacks on how to go around our veggies, how to cut them and make them make it easier in preparation. Oh, this is great. Ah, this is very interesting. You see, like all these uh, fruits and vegetables they have here. We have them here in the farm, in the shop, and it's very interesting, you know, you see? I'm always surprised seeing, like, English people, you buy stuff like this from the shop and supermarkets when they are packed, and it's uh, really surprising. You see, for me, this side of the world, we get this stuff from the shop, you see? If you are wondering what the shop is, the shop means a farm, you see? If you have a kitchen garden, it's a kitchen shop or anything like that, and uh, they are quite interesting, you see? This is great. Like now, I'd like to know where uh, this sort of human got this fruit from. You see, I wouldn't be surprised to hear them go to the supermarket because after watching this video, see, uh, we're very... not likely the only life forms in the universe. There's probably very many, some vastly more intelligent than we are. Here we're sitting here, looking up into the night sky, countless thousands of stars. With binoculars, it rises into the millions of stars. With telescopes, it rises into the Oh, God. There are surely civilizations there looking up at their night sky and they see our star, the sun, as part of some constellation that they identify in their night sky. Ah, oh my God, huh? That's a interesting school of thoughts. Ah, and this is some place in Giza. Oh my God, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You see, I'm always surprised when I see these past people, they had carved stones into ways or tunnels and some of them places you could live. And it's really incredible. You know how much hard it is just to go through stone and maybe make a ship that you diverted out of stone. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It's some um, tough work. Oh, I'm missing people building houses like that. It's incredible. This is why you cannot see the curvature of the earth. Ah, oh my god, ha, do you mean, oh, this is an interesting theory, oh my god, ha, that's a level on what, I don't know what that is, is that a building or something like that, makes me wonder, oh, so that's how the earth looks like from a distance, ay, 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 ha, 
pretty interesting. Oh my god! The beastly fossil was just laid there. Using our hammer and chisel, really quickly removed most of the shale, and the fossil was ready to be lifted out. It came up in two pieces, just the right amount to have it quickly and easily restored at home. Looking in the center of the specimen, this absolutely beautiful golden appearance is within part of the Phragmacone. Such a lovely fossil, we really didn't expect it to look so nice on the inside. It's a really unusual appearance. Walking along the beach, a lot of fresh shale had made its way down and sat right there. This squid was easily found. Using our hammer and chisel, we began excavating it. As with all fossilised squids, they always have a natural fracture through them. Thankfully, this only had a single natural break. Sometimes the specimens can have several. Piecing it back together, you can see what the finished specimen will look like once it's restored. Holding it in place, we're able to take it home and start the process of getting it ready for display. Tell me you're not bullish after watching this. The world is constantly changing. Civilization continues to reach new heights and it's happening faster than ever. The world we knew 20 years ago is almost unrecognizable. Today, we are in the midst of the fourth industrial revolution. A new era in which the boundaries between the digital and the physical world are blurring. The rapidly growing utilization of new technologies has ushered in an era of global digital transformation. It is changing the way we work, the way we live, and the way we relate to one another. A revolution which is on its way to impact all disciplines, industries, and economics shaping the future of our civilization. A future in which the amount of generated data will be growing exponentially. 90% of the data that exists in the world today has been created in just the last few years alone. It has become the new oil. New technologies designed for big data are therefore going to be vital as the world's infrastructure is not prepared for this exponential growth rate. Until now. Constellation embraces this future and has built a technology crucial for what lies ahead. Not too long ago, the invention of distributed ledger technology opened the door to limitless new possibilities, such as the creation of trustless decentralized money, Bitcoin, as well as platforms for smart contracts and computation, Ethereum. However, these only scratch the surface of what is possible with DLT. Constellation's network, Hypergraph, is the world's first DLT for big data. It's a directed acyclic graph, DAG, and the next evolution in DLT, which significantly expands upon the capabilities of blockchains. Hypergraph is different to all other DAGs in that it scales horizontally, it scales infinitely, and it's designed to handle all of the world's data. There's absolutely no limit. Constellation's world-class engineers realized that the answers to the most unsolvable problems could be found by examining the design of nature itself. Hypergraph is architected to mimic the design of nature and through that Constellation managed to solve true scalability, the greatest challenge in DLT. The decentralized open source protocol, Hypergraph Transfer Protocol, has set a new standard. A standard to securely use, transfer, manage, monetize, audit and validate data at truly limitless scale. Not only that, but like the internet, this technology is designed to work and connect with every device and with all data types, even the most complex data. With limitless new possibilities come limitless new threat factors and risks. All of our personal data is harvested and sold, leaving us with nothing in return. 
Worse yet, most of the world's data is unsecured. A risk of becoming bad data, spoof data or stolen data. This affects us all. Every entity from militaries, governments and businesses to everyday people. The problems can be truly endless and the costs and risks would be terrifying. By working very closely with the US DOD, federal government, major enterprises, academia and blockchain companies, Constellation is ensuring mass adoption, providing the world's best data cybersecurity, preventing catastrophes, cutting costs and enabling full control over data. As for all of our data that gets harvested and sold, Constellation has the perfect solution. Constellation is enabling users through a very user-friendly wallet to finally be able to control all of their data in one hub and sell it to whomever they please. We call these users datapreneurs and they are the pioneers of the new data economy and of a new source of income. So as we look forward to what lies ahead, we can assure you Constellation is here to serve all our data needs worldwide, now and in the future. Rank number 487 on CoinMarketCap. It is the only blockchain project that is working directly with the Department of Defense, the U.S. Air Force. In the very near future, our data is going to be more valuable than oil. And we have to understand that once we get the concept of that, you can see why a system like Constellation DAG is needed 100%. I've gotten asked the question, Echo, are you leaving XRP behind for Constellation DAG? By no means am I doing that. I still hold my XRP. I'm not going to be dumping my bag of XRP. I'm adding positions of Constellation DAG and all the other ISO compliant tokens because they are solving real world problems. And as we embark into the fourth industrial revolution, these are the cryptos that I am acquiring. Know what you hold. Let's go. Oh, what's up, wonderful people? Thanks for watching up to this far, man. Big up to yourself. You see, that video has passed as really showcasing the developments of technology and all that industrial development. What do you call it? I mean, there have been some major developments in the world today in terms of technology and how we live and improvements in stuff, you see, which is just incredible. But what uh, still does us my mind is with all these improvements and uh, new technologies, you see, is there any improvement in the morals among the people and the humanity? No. Or do you think? Or instead, uh, the morals have just gone down, you see? Because uh, there have been so much chaos around of late, even with improved technology and all that, you see? Which is not good. That's why we are here preaching now. Peace and forgiveness, yo, my people, so that we can also have some developments in the morals out there in the world, you see? And good vibes can reach everybody all over, so that uh, they can also develop together. As technology develops, we also develop more love, more peace, more unity and forgiveness, you see? Thanks, people, for watching up this far. Much love to yourself. You see, like now, those videos that has passed, some were really interesting and I'd like to hear your comments about them. Well, there was some video that passed with some guy explaining how English is uh, difficult and challenging. You see, it really, really does this my mind and made me remember how I sometimes have difficulties explaining stuff using the English. You see, it's not my first language. And like now those things those guys will say, it's always sometimes complicated and challenging. But guess what? We spread this message of love irregardless. If you can just hear from wherever you're watching, if you can hear love, peace, and forgiveness, that's what we are all about, man. Let's keep watching. Watch till the end. Leave a comment there. Smash the like button. And the super thanks if possible. Oh, you are loved, man.